Hello, Rob here, and this is a little tutorial about Subnet Base 2 and doing sidechain in a different way. Of course, sidechain is still valid if you have a base which is a very long tone, like in this example. Well, the classic way of doing sidechain is adding a compressor on the base channel. So here we have Subboom Base 2 and there's a compressor. And the compressor has here a sidechain input punch 2, which is a bass drum. Okay, listen now how this classic sidechain is affecting the bass. Well, you can hear the pumping of this bass and essentially I show this because this is the traditional way and with many sounds, this is still the, the correct way of doing it. Well, the other method you can use for creating these type of sidechain on a bass in case you use a synthesizer is simply by using the feature of the synthesizer. Well, in the latest version of Submoon Bass 2, there's a bank called Bass Psytrance 01. Well, in this bank, you will find many bass presets for Psytrance. And each of them have two versions. One is the version with velocity and the other one is without velocity. Well, let me explain. What I did is I created a basic groove and let's play it. In this basic groove, I use this bass and you hear a kind of side chain effect on the subboom bass too. But it's not done by using a compressor, but it's done by using the features of subboom bass too, because yeah, it's a synthesizer and you are in control. Important is to keep the velocity on the filter to zero or at least reduce it a lot because this influences the sound and we want to influence only the volume of the bass. Next is increase the velocity in the amp section, which influences the volume of the sound. And then I went to the track, and let's show you the track here. And then you can see here the sequence which is playing. Let me play it again for you. But if you look down here, you can see I adjusted the velocity values. Each time the first one has a lower volume, lower velocity setting, which results in a lower volume on that particular note. So instead of using the kick, which then pushes down the volume, I use velocity on the steps. I want to have the volume down from Subwoon Bass 2, and then you have essentially the same result. Let's play it again. So let's play it now without velocity. And you can see it's a steady bass. And here you see that the velocity is zero. Now I play it with the velocity. 